Welcome back. Craig here. We're going to talk about putting some finishing touches on our magazine cover. And one thing that I thought might look good and would also teach us about layer masks is to cut this little girl's hair out of the, the logo, the oval. So let's zoom in here. And we're going to find this purple shape, which is right here. And you can see that she has uh, some very frilly hair up here that we could put her in front of the logo and make it appear as though the, the circle in the logo is between her and the shoulder of the little boy. So first let me show you, uh, we have a layer effect on here, um, or a layer style, and the effect here is a stroke. So we have a white stroke around this. Now, if I were to add a layer effect, or I'm sorry, a layer mask to this, and I would start to um, try to paint this away, her hair, you see what happens is that stroke just outlines the new shape that I have here and that wouldn't work very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this, um, the drop shadow and the stroke to the, um, to the layer here. So I'm just going to hold my control and I'm going to click here and we can do rasterize the layer style. Now, as I'm thinking about this right now, if we do that and we cut part of this out, the drop shadow is still going to apply um, to her, to her hair. Let's see how that looks. We can always adjust it if we don't like it. Um, it will adjust to the new cutout, I should say. But let's rasterize the layer style. And nothing really changes except you see that the layer style went away. So now we have everything on one layer. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of some of this. And the way I do that is I select the layer and I go down here, uh, three in, it says add a layer mask. So I will add this layer mask and what it does is it will choose everything and it will be white. Now, if I just take my type B and choose a basic paintbrush and put black on there, anything that I paint in here that is black will remove that layer. But see, it puts a little black dot in there that I just drew in. But the cool thing is, is it's not really gone. It's non-destructive. So if I just change my paint color to white, I can paint this back in. And I have everything back on here that I want, and you can see the black goes away. Now there's still some artifacts of black, so I'll probably want to select the large area, quick fill, option, um, option delete with white, and make it all go away so I can start fresh. Now it's really hard. You could technically drop the opacity on this and go in here and try to paint away her hair with the paintbrush. But what I would prefer to do is let's bump the opacity back up is make sure I click on here. We're going to hide this layer and I'm going to zoom in, type L for my lasso tool, feather this just one pixel, and I am going to draw, kind of split the hair where I think I want it to go. And I'll loop around every now and then to finish my selection. To add more to the selection, I will simply hold my shift key down and we're going to go in here and we're going to kind of split the edge of her hair. Now when I get here, I have some choices to make, but looking at the rest of her hair, I'm just going to kind of follow that same model of what it looks like. Finish this. Come over here, continue to hold my shift key down. Add more to it. Remember that I have a feather selected of one pixel. So that will help me um, feather this into the new color. So I want to grab just a little bit more up here. And you know we're not going to worry about all this stuff because I really wouldn't want that poking up into the logo anyway. I'm going to grab just a little more along here. Okay, so now that I have my selection and it's feathered, I'm going to make this layer visible again, click on the white part, and fill this with black. My quick key to fill the background color with black is Command Delete. And it will put that black shape on my layer mask 
which then masks out the purple shape. Now if I Command D to get rid of my selection and I zoom out, you can see that her hair now is cut out from that shape. It's really just smoke and mirrors because it's part of this layer. She's really not, it's not really behind her, it's part of that purple layer. So that is a helpful way to use a layer mask on a layer. And if I would need to touch this up a little bit, I can go in here, make sure I select the layer mask, B for my paintbrush, make it smaller, and whatever I paint on here in white will put the purple back. So I could adjust this if I wanted to. Paint it back in. Or if I switch my colors to black, whatever I do now will take away that purple again because I'm painting on some mask right now. And there you have it. Hope that helps. That's layer masks. Thank you.